hello guys uh, uh today uh, i just uh, want to uh, show you or uh, uh, to solve the object reference uh, issue uh, like null exception how to handle the null exception null reference exception so uh, usually commonly we will uh, get a uh, uh, object reference is not set to an in uh, instance of an object so uh, this error uh, we will uh, get uh, uh, in uh, every process uh, suppose uh, if i do some uh, assigning or uh, some instance it's uh, null it will throw this exception so commonly how to handle this one today's topics i going to cover is how to handle the object reference or null reference exception so here my application i got a null reference so i uh, got this error so let me flip my application so here i have a two action one is index i assign go, go freelancer to the temp data and uh, the temp data i just convert to upper and assign to the f and uh, this message i pass it to the action and it, the views it's displaying so um, here why this is happen this is like a exception we know know about the temp data so uh, first request it will uh, uh, sh um, deliver the data and second request it will clear the data if you commonly uh, call temp data directly so a lot of uh, people or uh, some people not know the functionality of temp data they will use directly and they will get this uh, issue object reference in the second request so today our uh, topic is how to handle this one so let me go and uh, run my application now okay uh, so now my string assigned to the temp data text view data it's fine now so perfectly assigned first time i just go about so now uh, uh, i have a temp data uh, value that is assigned to foo uh, with upper character fine uh, now it is fine and uh, now actually uh, uh, my temp data data is clear now again i just uh, reload my page now see i just uh, give f10 i got this event because i can't do the two upper because of my temp data uh, data is not there null we can't do the two upper so it throws a null exception so uh, how to handle this it's very simple uh, we can uh, make a two way of uh, checking this condition of uh, temp data not is null or empty okay so this way uh, if you do ok here i just add one condition that if the string is not null or empty then assign the value or do this process Okay, so uh, my data is assigned on the index sheet. Okay, now I go to the about. Now my condition is get executed that it is not null, so it will assign to the message view. Okay, I'm saying. 
still it will go to add this stuff see it's going to do this this bit confusion okay so now my go village again my second request in the boot page it will go it will okay so here also i get the reference uh you know because i just can uh to, to the two string okay uh so uh temp data directly we can't uh, uh, check for the string so i'll just uh, do some other procedure to eliminate this <coughs> reference issue uh, so i i can check directly if string is null so let me go and run my application hope so this time it works is assigned okay the second request kf10 okay now it's got stripped because my temp data is null now so there is no exception you will get it will skip the process so this is one way to handle there is one way uh, one more way uh, by using a lambda expression so uh, let me show that uh, to how to handle it uh, okay uh yeah suppose if our uh, temp data not equal to null uh do this otherwise take it as null okay so uh, let me run the application again so the same uh, uh, condition that we applied using a lambda expression one line of code it will check the conditions Okay, I just uh, skip this process. Uh, fine. I just uh, go to the board page. Let run the uh, run the breakpoint. Okay, now uh, it's check the condition. Uh, it is not null, so it's uh, take this operation and it execute the go freelancer positive and second request again i hit the page let go and double check so this time my foo is equal to null because it is null so it's uh, default uh, it's written this here we can set the optional uh, uh, parameter or a uh, whatever the value you want to pass you can pass it so it is a good uh, functionality to capture the null in the ACS, so it will throw the empty result so this is the way you can now uh, handle this uh, null reference exception thanks for watching the video please share the comments if you found any better solution uh, than this uh, hopes uh, guys enjoy the video